right now we have connected our local transaction processor client to the uh, validator and the validator and the uh, transaction processor client is working right now uh, the next step that we need to do is like we need to create a client so client intermediate layer could be anything like api or a command line or terminal process okay uh, example the in key batch submission okay uh, second layer will come into play as that um, rest api which is right now running on h004 and uh, it will accept a batch submission okay then it will send the transaction to our validator which is running on 4004 and uh, this validator then will forward the code to our transaction processor okay so which is running right now here this part, okay so whatever the smart contract that we are running over here uh, will be checked so in this transaction file let's say we are handling in key wallet uh, key or xo okay so it will check if the transaction that got submitted from the rest api is for any of this uh, families if the family is registered and the relevant version name 1.0 or 1.1 is found uh, then that transaction will be forward to that code and uh, this code submission will happen and we will get the result okay so this uh, whole flow of how the whole thing works so for that we already have this validator and rest api figured out so we'll move that out of the place and transaction processor is right now running but doesn't have any contract uh, running from there so this is will be this will be a next step and before that we need a place where you can submit transaction and send it to the sort like application okay so as you can see here in the payload uh, we got human readable values and uh, this is now converted into byte format using c4 then this bytes are forwarded over here to the transaction okay and uh, the transaction header will contain who signed the transaction the public key and uh, which input means that which we are values we are going to get and which values we are going to write on to so this is like a address uh, represented on the blockchain part okay so that we'll see in the later okay so but this is the contract that we are trying to invoke and these are the two addresses that will be involved in input as input on output like a write read and write then this is the person who is sending the transaction uh, now the process starts by creating a transaction okay then the transaction is created like pushed into a transaction list then that transaction list is pushed to a set of batch okay and that batch will be created pushed to a batch list okay so what basically happens is uh, let's say we got a transaction uh, bob is sending 100 rupees to user like a uh, man okay and john is sending 100 to money so these two are same transaction so money is uh, getting like 200 and uh, we want both of the transaction to be succeeded okay so we will create two transaction transaction one and transaction two okay then we want to put it in a batch okay so to for this two transaction to be committed both of them has to succeed okay and uh, similarly we will create other batches also and wrap this whole thing into a batch list okay and uh, finally this batch list is uh, serialized and forwarded to the submission endpoint okay the rest api endpoint so from there this process i was telling like where our api will send the batch to the rest api and rest api will forward to validator validator will then check if there is any families registered under the under this handler and if that is registered it will be forward to the, those families and our transaction gets validated and stored in the blockchain 